Good morning, my fellow yogic travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and live the life we love. From the Awaken Joy series, I love the phrase coined by the Buddha, the bliss of blamelessness. He says, for one who leads a virtuous life, it's a natural law that remorse will not arise. You didn't do things that you're sorry that you did. For for one free from remorse, it's a natural law that gladness will arise. You feel good about the choices you made. And for one who is glad at heart, it's a natural law that joy will arise. So it's interesting how doing your best to be a morally straight human being, improve your ethics. It's called yama and niyama in yoga. The positive feelings that you have will motivate you towards skillful actions. People make bad choices out of habit and confusion, ignorance. When you're feeling tired, when you're feeling stressed, when you're not taking care of yourself, when you're in a hurry, if you drink too much or indulge too much, if you pissed off too much, when you feel threatened, when you feel joy, blamed, all those things compromise our joy. And we go on automatic and unconscious habits take over. And that's when we conveniently disregard what effect our actions might have, not only on ourselves, but on other people. Some people feign helplessness when things spin out of control, and then they avoid, avoid the responsibility and forget about the consequences of our actions. But we are the inheritors, the heirs, H-E-I-R-S, of our actions. So, as my teacher would say, meditate and check out where the bad odor is coming from. It's like the bottom bin in the refrigerator where there's been rotting vegetables that's been there. You know, you open it up, you see it's there. You don't want to deal with it, and you close it back up. So maybe you'll cringe at what you've done in the past. Maybe you'll shudder with guilt or sadness, but you're not off the hook. But you are on the road to purgatory. The realization of knowledge of bad karma, knowing that you've done something you know you can do better than, it makes you aware. And the, imp the impurities or the grosser aspect of your actions may appear larger, but it's because you're seeing them with a greater light, greater clarity from your meditative practice. Is it painful? To be sure. Is there a price that we pay for becoming more conscious? Absolutely. But you can no longer pretend you don't know any better. Now you do. You can't get away with nothing. You can't get away with anything. But why would you want to get away with anything? But now at least you know you're no longer hurting yourself or other people in the way that you had before. No longer capable of doing that. You want to be at peace. So go beyond any kind of accumulated disgust and self-judgment. and Realize this is not working for me anymore. And find out what the bliss of blamelessness is all about. Once there was a horseman who saw a man who was sleeping. And saw a venomous snake slip into the man's mouth. Down into his body. So without wasting a moment. He spurred his horse on, got to where the man was, and started beating him mercilessly. And the man was saying, what are you doing, you enemy of, human en enemy of humanity? What have I done to, to uh, warrant this? But the horseman kept beating him. And he, ma he beat him so much, he mo moved him over to a, a, tre a tree where there was rotten apples. He made him eat the rotten apples. And then he moved them over to a, where there was a spring. And he made him drink the water. And when he did, he vomited out the venomous snake. And the men saw what came out of him. He said, oh, I didn't realize what you were doing. Thank you for saving my life. But then the horseman said, well, he said to him, maybe I should have told you. Why don't you tell me? I would have listened to you. He said, there was no time, number one. Number two, you would have either denied it or you've been so afraid or you would want to go back to sleep and forget the whole thing. And there was no time, which is why I had to act the way I did. And then the mysterious horseman wrote off. I guess this is some kind of allegory from uh, Rumi, right? Yeah. We've all swallowed some stuff and we're asleep and don't even know it. Some other influence has to come by and awaken us, even if it seems with harshness. They say the opposition of a person of wisdom is greater than the solidarity with a fool. So don't be supported by the fool within yourself or other people. Take the harsh treatment if you need to. So you can vomit out the poison stuff that's inside yourself and move on. This Wednesday will be the next 
in a series of Good Vibration classes, a four-class series every other Wednesday from the Discourses of the Bhagavad Gita by Ramdas. And then on Thursday, I'll have my ninth in the series of 12 Dharma Talks for Flourish Yoga on the Contemplative Path. Hope you can join us. Go to the website, gabrielhalpern.com. I have a lot of free loads for you. And uh, by the way, September 5th, this is... Uh, it's the beginning of Labor Day, isn't it? Oh, registrations for the Mexico vacation have begun. I already have one. And so it's our 25th year. It should be a great blast. Check out the website. Sign up February 25th to March 4th in 2023. Look forward to seeing some of you there with me. Love to have all of you there. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, contact me. Have a great day.